So much has happened since the last time I made a, like a legit video. I don't even know where to begin. So I'd just like to point out, the, yeah, the fact that I am not editing this for like three weeks and that everything I've been saying is old news by now, especially the Disney stuff. So be warned. Also, this is your intro because I'm editing it on my iPad. I couldn't, it, the thing was too long for me to upload it to my computer. So, ba da da da, intro. So, I think the last time I even made a video, I don't even remember the last time I made a video. Because the last video I uploaded was just, uh, I think it was recorded month, months ago. Who, who remember? Who knows? But uh, lots of Pred stuff happened, uh, some. Uh, Disney stuff happened, some devil stuff happened. Uh, oh, it was the podcast about the P.K. Subban stuff and the Matthew Shane. It, it was like sometime in July. That was the last thing I did. Jeez, I am very far behind on everything. The Antonio Brown is a patriot now. Uh, world is in a whirlwind. I got a new iPad, which is what I'm filming this on instead of my camera because I don't have my camera with me. I'm back in school. I had a job. It's, uh... Definitely been an adventure. I'm recording new music constantly. I come up with it's, God. It's a crazy world out there. So let's what am I, I don't even know what I want to start with. Let's start with the Antonio Brown stuff. So basically, all summer Antonio Brown is being a beep about various things. You know how Antonio Brown is. Um and so he was God, what was he? Like complaining about his helmet or whatever, and no, the league took said he couldn't use his helmet, and so you know, he just wouldn't play or wouldn't practice or whatever, and so he got a new helmet. The league said he couldn't wear that, and then he got another new helmet, right? And so, he being a typical the typical diva he is, um, something else happened, and he wasn't allowed to practice. Or, I don't know, he got fined for not showing up to two practices, and then he wouldn't pay it or something, and then. Anyway, so on and so forth. I guess last night he had a call with uh, the Raiders, and he called someone a cracker. Yep. So after his call, I guess to yeah, I guess like yes, yesterday afternoon, this morning, he got released from the Raiders. Um, and now he, and then like not even maybe like six hours later, he signed with the Patriots. It's like a biggest f you to Steelers fans like myself, and. Man, I don't even know what's going on. And we play them tomorrow. So, um, Raiders fans aren't ha too happy with them. Uh, pre nah, Steelers fans aren't too happy with them. But who cares? They're not our problem anymore. Except until, uh, unless, I don't even, I doubt he'll play tomorrow. So that's that. Preds, they re-signed Colton Sissons for seven years at like two and a half million dollars each, which is a really weird deal. Um, love Colton Sissons. Just seven years? That's weird. Um, so there's that. Uh, I think they just re-signed Rocco Grimaldi for like a million. Maybe. I have no idea. Um, Wayne Simmons is on the Devils. P.K. Subban was traded to the Devils. Uh, for, I think Steven Santini went back too. I, I talked about that in the podcast a while ago. Um, God, Matthew Shane is a pred. Again, talked about that too. But uh, we, got a, we got a first look at him in his uh, uniform. That uh, NHL media day in Chicago, a couple uh, yesterday or the day before, might might have been Friday. So there's that. Um, now the Disney news is a little bit more difficult to break down. Uh, if you, you haven't been around this channel for a long time, I think t about two years ago I released a video um, about how to do Disney on a budget. I'm gonna show this like this so that Disney can't sue me for this image. Basically, what happened was. For the gist of it, um, is that, or like the big news for Disney World, because that's like my quote unquote home park. Uh, my home park is Carowinds, but all they did was get like a slot, uh, like a water slide or something. Anyway, so Disney is overhauling Epcot, and everyone knew that. Uh, they just didn't know what was going to come of it. Um, Future World is no more. Um, and I think it's going to be like split into three different neighborhoods, like Discovery. Celebration and nature, yeah, that's what it is. And then, of course, the uh, world, uh, the world showcase is going to remain the same. Um, getting the Mary Poppins section. Uh, a lot of people were speculating a dark ride in there, 
which I'd be happy about. I just want to see something, you know, innovative and not, like, really seen before. Maybe, like, a, a, an umbrella vehicle or, like, a kite vehicle. I think that'd be pretty cool. Be pretty swell. Uh, Ratatouille is going to open, I think, in... Sh it's soon. It's opening soon. Uh, maybe January is, like... I don't remember. Don't, don't trust my numbers. I'm just kind of remembering things and kind of blabbing on because I, I want something to do. The Space Restaurant's opening this winter. I think, I think it's called Space 220, something like that. Yeah. Which that I'm really excited about. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy is on, underway. It's supposed to be like a backwards launching coaster, which as a coaster nerd, that makes me very happy. As a Disney nerd, I still don't know why that's going. In the, it, I'll, I'll get back to that. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, Mickey was Runaway Railway is underway. We got some nice pictures of that. Um, I don't, I'm not going to do any pictures or anything like that. If you want to do that, go like watch an actual Disney blog, you know? Uh, I'm just here because I like Disney. I'm just mentioning it because of that. Um, so let's let's buckle down on the opinions. It's taken me a while to get used to it. I think I'm all in on this for this overhaul now. Um, I was in super how oh, Canada and China getting new videos. New circle vision. It's supposed to be like cleaner, no breaks in the the screen or anything. So that's cool. But well, it's I mean I'm fine with it with reflections of China. I really like that show. I don't really care if it goes away or not. I still love it. I love the old one. Uh, the Canada one hurts a little bit because I love that one. And Martin Short did such a great job. And there's so much emotion in the song that Bob Moline, Moline wrote. And I just love it so much. Maybe they'll keep it. Maybe that's like my favorite part of that. Um, my mom's really disappointed about Martin Short not being in it. Um, as long as they get someone good. Technically, Ryan Reynolds could do it now because they kind of own Deadpool, and I don't, they don't really own him. But you get my point. But I, I, the Guardians of the Galaxy, like I said, as a coaster nerd, backwards launch, awesome. Um, I've only really ridden one. Have I ever ridden a roller coaster that backwards launched? No, I don't think so. I read Cobra. I read uh, just rode Copperhead Strike a couple weeks ago. That was pretty sick. Um, but I don't think I've ridden one that ba that has a backwards launch. Um, that is like a straight up roller coaster, not like one of those, um, ones that go in and out of the station. What the hell is it doing in Port Discovery? Or in the neighborhood, in the Discovery neighborhood? What does it have to do with Discovery? I feel like they, no, I don't, of course it's hard to keep up with the future, right? And I understand why they changed Future World, they already have a hard time with Tomorrowland trying to keep that up to date, which they're slowly getting to up to date and whatnot. But, what the hell is going on with... I, it just doesn't belong there, no matter what you call the land. Whether it's Future World or whether it's uh, the Discovery Neighborhood. What Discovery is it? I just don't understand. Like, maybe, possibly, in a very, very far future... It's kind of like putting Star Wars there. What the, That doesn't make any sense. Why put Star Wars there? It's not... I'm always going to be mad about that. Even though they did rebrand it and everything, it just it still doesn't fit the theme. You feel? I'm excited for the Ratatouille ride. They're actually getting a new crepe restaurant, too. Or, like, they're taking a little crepe stand and putting it in a restaurant. I love those things. Those are amazing. Some of my favorite food in the park. That in Um I was hoping we'd get, a, like, a Rhine River adventure. Finally, for once, maybe. Maybe. Just once. Just please open something someone wants. Um, Harry, uh, Mary Poppins... Fantastic, long overdue, like long, long overdue. Um, yeah, I think they're gonna do Cirque du Soleil show. I think about animation too. I didn't care about that. Uh, now they have Disney stores and Target. That was useless information for me. I don't care. So that was that. So that's the Disney news. Um, in case you cared about my take so long afterwards. Um, Charlotte football got back going. Uh, they're one and one. They lost to App State today. That was a solid game, actually. I'm not going to complain about that one. Crush Gardner Webb in their hopes and dreams. Um, so yeah, hockey starting up. Uh, I think they're just. I think rookies are arriving. Uh, they have rookies games took place today. I think Predators were playing Tampa Bay, and the Devils were playing Buffalo. So finally, some hockey's getting underway. And I've been rambling on for about 11 minutes now, um, about basically nothing. Um, the Yankees are fantastic. The Mets are metting themselves out of play a playoff spot. They just lost today 5-0 to the Phillies. 
Um, Marcus Stroman took the loss. He's 7-13 on the season. Granted, he did play for the Blue Jays, but still, he's 7-13 on the season. I don't know why. I'm okay with the trade in hindsight, but also not really. But I didn't get to talk about that trade, about the Marcus Stroman trade from Toronto to the New York Mets. Um, the Yankees did absolutely nothing at the trade deadline. Um, not that they really need to. They really hit it big in free agency every year because they just pay. But yeah. Um, what else is there? Pelicans. As you guys know, I like, a, I like the Pelicans. If you go back really far back and watch like my Wolf Gator sports update, I love the Pelicans. Um, they got Zion Williamson. That was fantastic. Very happy about that. Um, they're going to be good next year. Good. Uh, and then the Nets. I actually, if you go back far enough, also for... I took the video, I think, right after the, up, the update stopped happening was the um, Nets freaking won a game because they were so bad. And now they have... Well, they signed Kevin Durant. You're not going to have him until next year. And then they also signed... The guy from the Celtics from last year, whose name escapes me right now. Um, and locally, the Charlotte Hornets are boned. The Charlotte Checkers are boned, even though they just won a cup. Everyone left. Uh, by the way, uh, wishes to Andrew Pitarowski. I actually met him before the season started last year. Had a career season, got engaged, had a phenomenal season, won a cup. And uh, now I think he's playing for the Ducks. Uh, I'm hoping he makes it onto the Ducks. Um, they really need the help. They need some young, quick players, and I think Andrew Pitarowski is definitely what they need. Um, so all the best to him, um, and all the best to uh, former cap, for, former Charlotte Checkers captain Patrick Brown. Uh, signed with the Golden Knights. Uh, he was cheap, so I understand that one. I don't know if he'll play in the NHL, but it's going to be weird without him being the captain. Uh, and we lost our coach, and best of luck to the coach, Mike Bellucci. But the Jackers are not going to be fun to go watch next year. Uh, Panthers, I don't care about them. Uh, they exist sometimes. It is what it is. And, uh, yeah. I'm thinking that's it. So, uh, if you guys like this video, just these rambling ons about whatever I can think of, maybe I'll do these every week. I say that. I say that a lot, actually, don't I? Yeah, um... So if you like this video, give it a like. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Completely unedited. I'm not going to edit it. Lies. I edited it. Probably should, considering that I should probably bleep out a lot of things. But, eh, I still might edit it. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. And, uh, yeah. Got nothing more to say. Peace out, party people. Enjoy. The outro, yeah, I guess I have to add it if, I, if I'm going to say enjoy the outro. Enjoy the outro. Again, not on the computer, but do 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 do